Good day. My name is Dr. John Dombrowski. I'm the director of the Washington Pain Center. I want to talk to you today about a new technology that we're bringing into the office. The technology is called kyphoplasty. Now that's a fancy word for a way of fixing vertebral or fractures of the spine. Now kyphoplasty has been around for quite some time, many, many, many years. The majority of the time it has been done in a hospital-based setting. Recently, Stryker, the company that I use in my practice, has moved forward with a technology where it can be done more of an office-based setting. I believe office-based settings are a little bit more satisfying to patients due to the fact it's not as threatening as a hospital, certainly less chance of infection, and certainly less expensive. So first off, let's talk about what a vertebral fracture or spine fracture is. This here's a model of someone's spine. The big bones here that you see in this column are, are the vertebral bodies. They're the ones that carry the majority of the weight. As we mature, these bodies start to break or disintegrate. What can happen, this certainly happens with people with osteoporosis. And you've seen men and women, unfortunately mainly women, start to have that hump because the spine starts to break. Instead of being nice and square, these end plates, they start to come into a pie shape. And you can imagine someone starts to lean forward, forward, and forward, causing that significant amount of pain. So with the pain here at the fracture site, the only thing that we've been able to do for a longer time has been to wear a back brace. And the back brace just prevents movement of the spine until the spine heals itself. Again, as mentioned, there was a technology, there's still technology called kyphoplasty, which is done in a hospital setting. And this is done in interventional radiology. Now, given the technology in American medicine, we can use the same process, but move it into the office-based setting. So if you were to have a diagnosis of a vertebral fracture, what we would do is identify the fracture site. And we'll say it's this one up here for the model's sake. It's this body here. What we can do is bring you to the fluoroscopy suite with just under uh, local anesthesia with no, no sedation to the patient, because that's safe, obviously, safer for the patient, is we can anesthetize the skin. Through the skin, and I'll use this pencil as, my, uh, as a needle, the needle goes through this bone here on top and into the bone here where, where the fracture site is located. You do two, one on the left side and one on the right hand side. Once the needles are in place, through the needle is placed glue. The glue essentially will then harden up that bone to prevent movement. When there's for no further movement, obviously there's no further pain. And actually the glue might even restore some of that height of the vertebral body that's fractured so you don't lose the height. Again, it's fairly simple to do. It's an office-based setting. Uh, if you have a, anyone with a vertebral fracture, yourself or a loved one, and you want to talk more about it, please don't hesitate to call the office or write us. And thanks so much for watching.